Today, I'm gonna to show you how to replace the rear axle on this Polaris Razor XP1000. Let's face it, axles break, especially if you've bound your wheel up against an obstacle and you've given it a lot of throttle. Or you're out jumping your machine and you take a hard impact, you will need to replace it. And if you're going to have to replace it, you might as well do it with the heavy duty one from Tusk. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do that on this 2019 Polaris Razor XP4 1000. Now these procedures that I'm gonna show you will work on your 2014 and newer Razor XP two and four seater 1000 and turbo models. To do this job, you'll need some basic hand tools, a torque wrench, contact cleaner, rags, gloves, and safety glasses, and a copy of your OEM service manual for more information, proper procedures, and specs. You'll also need a replacement axle. We're using the one from Tusk, which is a heavy-duty CV axle that is a great option, but we have plenty of other options to choose from on our website. The first thing we need to do is raise our machine so that we can remove our suspension components. Now make sure when you do this that you do it in a safe manner so that you don't cause injury to yourself or damage to the machine. Now let's remove the lug nuts and the rear wheel. Now that we've got the wheel removed, I've placed a stand underneath our trailing arm assembly. We can use that stand to rest the brake caliper on once we remove it. And as we disassemble it, we can rest the rest of the components on it. Next, let's remove the cotter pin and axle nut. And then we'll just slide the hub right off. Now we'll remove both the radius rod bolts holding it to the hub. Anytime you remove a nylon lock nut, the Polaris manual recommends that you replace it with a new one. Now you might need to lift up on the assembly to get the radius rod bolts out. Now let's take the upper radius rod and remove it from the hub. We'll just let it hang to the side, and then we'll go ahead and pull the whole trailing arm outward and pull the axle out from the inside. When you're removing your axle from the hub, if you don't have enough clearance to get it out, you may need to remove the lower shock bolt so that the trailing arm will move out far enough. Now you can just rest the trailing arm back onto your stand and rest the axle on top of the trailing arm. Now we need to remove the axle. Grab a hold of it and we want to use a slide hammer motion to remove it out of the differential. Now let's take some contact cleaner and a rag and clean the area where the axle goes into the differential. Now let's grab our Tusk Heavy Duty CV Axle, put a little grease on the splines, and we'll insert that into the differential housing. Now you'll need to install this in a slide hammer-like motion. Now that we know the axle is all the way in, we need to install the other side through the hub the same way we took it apart. We'll just pull the trailing arm out and then fish it through the hub and then set it back on the stand. Now we'll slide the lower radius rod into the hub followed by the upper radius rod. Now let's install the radius rod bolts. Now again, you may need to pick up on the hub assembly to insert these bolts. Now if they're 10 millimeter, go ahead and torque those to 40 foot-pounds. And if they're 12 millimeter, go ahead and torque those to 100 foot-pounds. Now we can install the hub. Make sure that you've cleaned out the inside of that as well. Now when you're installing the hub, you may need to grab the inside of the axle and pull down on it and wiggle it so that you can line up the splines and then you wiggle on the hub. Now let's grab the two concave washers that come with the axle along with the castle nut and the cotter pin. Now we need to install the washers with the concave, which is the center part facing out. Then we need to install the castle nut and torque it to 180 foot pounds. Now if you have a buddy that will help you, you might need that as this is a lot of torque. Now in putting this amount of torque on this nut, you gotta keep in mind that the grooves from the castle nut need to line up with the hole in the axle so that you can install your cotter pin. Now we can install the cotter pin. Next, we can install the brake caliper and torque both bolts to 40 foot-pounds. Now let's install the wheel and torque it to the manufacturer's specification. Now 
And that's it. That's all there is to installing a heavy-duty CV axle on a Polaris Razor. Come check us out at RockyMountainATVMC.com for more parts, apparel, and accessories. And remember, all orders over $75 ship for free. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Steve. We'll catch you next time.